say one more word. Hey, what up, everyone? This is Mondo Day back with another video. And in this video, I'll be doing a little guide and giving some tips as far as how to pass uh, limbo. I'll be going over what to do and everything. And yeah, so again, let's get right into it because I'm about to start right now. So I'm going to be playing as well as, um, you know, doing limbo. So do keep in mind. So if I'm explaining something and, I'm, you know, if I kind of lose sidetrack or anything, you know, don't be surprised because I am recording as I. I am playing as I, you know, give you guys some tips and pointers, but with Limbo, one of the first things you want to do is um, get into a party, and all you have to do is go to the party chat, and then go to, um, go to the, the chat and look for the LFG tab, which stands for um, looking, uh, looking for a group, and then from there, sorry, I'm typing, um, and from there, you ask anyone if you know who, who wants to do limbo, or or you can ask to be invited to limbo. And then once you're in the party, um, you can kind of go from there. It's best to, to do it in a party because that way you guys can communicate with each other. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm a party leader. I'm going to do. So I'm going to tell them to, you know, get ready, and also I'm going to tell them what to do. So right now, I'm going to type in there. Um, I'm going to tell them to do is to gather up for the triplets. So when it comes to the triplets portion of the game or limbo. So all of us gather up and attack one, 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 um, you know, one enemy at a time. That way you can kill, you do the most damage. Um, and, then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna put your keep chat open. Use old at the end. Okay, so again, sorry if I'm not really going to detail and if I lose sidetrack or anything. I'm kind of I'm playing as I speak with you guys, give you some tips and pointers. So let's get right into it. So. Let's just say once your chat's open, and I'll explain to this very at the very end, kind of go a little more in detail as far as the party. But once you have a party, make sure once everything's full, go to queue. Make sure it says do not seek other players because you already have a full party, and then click queue. And then after that, you wait, and then from there, enter match. And you just gotta wait a little bit. But like I was saying, the best thing to do is do it in a party because that way you can keep, keep constant communication with your party. And kind of explain the rules and so if um the rules such as like you know gather up for which um for which uh, triplets and you'll see what, what i mean by the triplets i call them triplets but i don't know what the actual name is so pardon me on that but um let's get right into it here all right all right so first thing you want to do with these enemy this enemy is pretty simple it's pretty darn simple. Not that difficult. Um, make sure your party's here. One of them did not here for some reason. I don't know, I don't know why. Well, since one of them is not in here. But anyways, what you want to do with this enemy? Simple. Just do your damage. I am Rocket Raccoon, so I am a summoner. So all you have to do is kill him. You see these red orbs here? You want to get them whenever you can. You can. Because what those do is they actually give you a buff. They actually increase your damage. And I'll show you guys in the thing. I have to have like 20 or so. I'll show you how much, how many, you know, how much power it increases. It increases quite a, quite a bit, to be honest with you. So, again, that's the first boss. You just, just guys attack as much as you can. Second boss, same thing. Here. Again, it's pretty simple right now. It's typical, typical boss. Here, just keep grinding, keep playing. The next one is where we have with the demons, where it's like a, I call it the, the cat demon. I know stupid name, but I call it the cat demon for some odd reason. But what it is is it's like a, it's a demon, and then for the first, first couple seconds, it's by itself, and then after that, it has like summons other demons as well too. Well, the key thing is to to kill and do massive damage to that one specific demon. And I say that because when you see when it happens, now do you, if um, let's say you attack the wrong demon, let's say you attack the demon that you know a summon demon, as I like to call it, then you're not really doing damage. And the way you can tell it's pretty simple is look at the health bar. If you're doing damage and the health is being reduced dramatically, that's an indication that that's not the right demon. So, for instance, look. I'm doing damage, but it's not decreasing as much. That's an indication that, you know, this is it. And you'll see in a bit right now. It summons more of them, like right is right now. Well, not yet. But when it summons more, like I did right now, 
Watch, I'm gonna attack the one behind me, and, look, and it's gonna reduce the damage quite a bit. It's kind of hard to see how that one reducing damage quite a bit. That's an indication that's not the right one. You want to do the most damage to this one right here. So notice this one does not reduce damage too much. It is, but not as much. Again, that's an indication that that is the one that you want to do damage to. And I die. And it's, if you die, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just keep at it again. Okay. Alright, so again, that's how you can tell which one you're doing damage to. So, yeah, so... Let's get right into it. Here's another one. This is simple again. Summon your turrets or whoever. So, yeah, so again, like what, said, like what I said about the demons, all you do is attack the main one. Because if you keep attacking the wrong one with the summon ones, then what you're doing is you're kind of wasting your time in a sense. And you don't want that, especially in Limbo. You don't want that. You want to do the mess as much damage as you can to the main one, the main some, um, demon. That way you can proceed to the next portion or the next wave or the next boss, however you want to call it. So keep that in mind. Um, to me, this is probably one of my favorite events because it's, it's a good way to test out your characters, but also it's a good way to kind of get in a party and just uh, go out, go crazy, and do massive damage as much as you can. All right. So the next portion are the, as I call them, the triplets. And what you want to do again is you want to gather up or a bunch of with to one enemy first and then do and you know the key thing is to do it one by one but gather up have the whole entire team all attack one enemy at a time and the best way to do it that's the best way to do it because what happens is when you do that um, you do massive damage here what friends this we're trying to do giant lord so you go see and once you gather up look how much look how the, oh, look at the damage it's being reduced quite a bit and again if you team up all to attack that one specific um enemy in this case the giant um giant lord glacial lord it goes by so much faster but on top of that you're most likely gonna you know pass this wave this is probably the toughest wave that many many parties and people fail the limbo but i figured that if you gather up and team up and Kill one enemy at a time it makes it much much easier and you can do and you still have enough time to do other things but, but you still have to do time and right now i'm connecting orbs right now because i need to there you go see and then right there and then here's the last one and it's still have almost a minute and for those of you asking how come he's moving around it's because i have um uh, i have Rocket Raccoon and summoning my turrets. So look, look how much damage is being reduced right now when we all gather up. And that's the key thing is you want to gather up. That's why the chat, you want, you want to be in a party so you can chat and communicate. And if you recall, one of the, in the very beginning before I actually started, I indicated all gather up you know, for triplets. And then look what everyone did. Everyone gather up. And again, that's what you want to do. That's why I always suggest to be in a party and then have that... Have that you know the party chat open that way everyone knows what they're doing and, and what to do now let's say you're in a party and no one's taking this no one's saying anything about what to do and everything my advice is take initiative and just kind of lead the team um I've been, I've been playing this for a while sometimes some people don't even know what they're doing and the best thing to do is just in my opinion is just to take initiative and just Sorry, I'm taking initiative and just kind of seek the rules to everyone. Like, hey, this is what we're gonna do. So we're about on this one. So again, triplets. Once you pass triplets, this is what you do, and then the next should be easy. It's not that hard. I'll show you right now. By collecting these little red orbs, are very very good. So look at my damage right now, thirty-one thousand. I'll show you again, thirty-one thousand. Now here's a, here's a trick for this one. What you want to do is attack this one right here. You want to attack this one first. Okay, this is the one you want to attack me first. Because if you attack the other one, I don't know their name, so I'm out. my apologies. You want to attack this first. Because if you attack this one, um, Nasrath, you, you mean? 
sorry, I'm like playing here and I'm not talking to you guys. If you want to attack first, because if you attack, if you attack this one right here, the, I call the dragon or mass map, you won't do any damage until you kill Fist. So you want to destroy Fist first. Okay, so keep that in mind. Always attack Fist first. Ideally, what you want to do is do your ultimate for the last one, but if not, you can use to this guy. I, I personally do the ultimate at the very, very end when I fight the, as I call it, the dragon. It's just a, it's just a habit of mine. But you do not have to. It's really up to you. But make sure, though, you attack, keeping attack, attack and defeat this first. So we're about to do it. I'm going to do my ultimate. And then, boom, yeah, right there. Yeah, there's these. And then I'll do my ultimate. Someone left the party, it's okay, we're about to be done. I'm gonna type in here O L T. We don't need it that much, but uh, whatever. Oops. So make sure you at least use your ultimates. So this is the enemy. So you always have to use, use your ultimates. Ideally if you wait and use your ultimates to last, then most likely you most likely you're gonna pass it. In this case, we're way ahead of the game. So we're more for the it's a bit crazy, and just like that. I was so careful. And that's it. That's how you pass. Uh... That was pretty simple. That's how you pass. Sorry, I'm collecting my stuff here. That's how you pass a limbo here. Not that difficult, not that hard, but that's how you do it. Let me take some loot here. I need this. I need that. Perfect. So. And then, that's mainly it. So, it seems like we just, do it, we just did it all. Um, us, I don't, I'm not too sure. I, I noticed when I was playing that there was one person missing. So, I'm not too sure if they they were in or not. Because I, I checked and it said they were, they were in limbo. So, I'm not too sure if they were in limbo or not. So, I don't know. But, whatever. It is what it is. So, now, what we're going to do is... It won't lift the party. It's alright. So, all you do is here, click leave queue. So, just to reiterate everything as far as what I mentioned. Okay, I'm going to go to so the training room. So, I'm going to just reiterate everything what, you know, what I did, what you just guys saw. So, that way you guys get a better understanding and clear, clear directions, I guess you can say. So, Perfect. So as mentioned, let me put more my team up. So the first thing again, you want to be in a party so you can communicate, just like I showed you guys. Go to the chat bar, go to the LFG tab, which stands for look for group, and then just put on there, you know, you know, looking for group, or you can put LFG and then the event, either limbo, doom, or whatever. If not, just click in. You know, I'll just type in IN, INV, which stands for invite, and then limbo. And again, that way you can let let people know that you're look, you're, you know, want to be invited for limbo. Once you're in chat, communicate. You, we want to do limbo in party because it's easier and you can communicate. You know, as I mentioned, I was part leader, so I put on there, I asked everyone they're ready, majority said they're ready. And then I indicated what we we're going to do, which was gather up for triplets, what we basically did, and then keep chat. Um, then I told them keep chat. And use ultimate at the very end and then if you notice that's what we did we used ultimate at the very end and you want to explain that because many times when people of what I've been playing with limbo people will tend to use ultimates or one ultimate for their um, for the triplets and you can't I mean ideally it's not what you want to do but I have seen it and I've had played it where we use someone using ultimate for the triplets I mean it made made the triplets much easier but ideally you, you want to wait till the very end so I would say, you you know, use the ultimate at the very end, and then once you pass, or before the triplets, the demon, or the cat demon as I like to call him, for the demon, make sure you, um, make sure you do damage to the correct de demon, not the the summon one, because if you do damage to the summon one, you're not going to be, you're basically wasting your time. And the way you can tell is, like I said, and I showed you guys too, that if you're playing. 
if you're um, you know you're doing damage to one one demon and you're you're, you're doing a lot of damage and the health bar is redu being reduced dramatically that to you is an indication that's not the right one so what you want to do is move on and until you find the right demon and just stick with that demon as much as you can it's much easier with melee because all you have to do is for me my usually usually my basic is my left click on my mouse and so if I have a, if I have a melee character it's much easier all I do is hold my you know left click on that enemy just like so here and then eventually that my my character will just keep moving whenever that demons move somewhere I my camera just my character my melee character would just follow that demon and just do the damage directly so but again just keep moving and for the demon make sure you're, you're doing the right damage to the right one once you pass that I mentioned the triplets already and from there again do and then at the very end do your ultimate ideally for the last last boss not the second to the last one but someone did you know the ultimate at the very end which is fine before um, I always forget the name I think it's um I forget what's the, na the name of it but anyways um, what you want to do is again do your ultimate at the very end ideally you want to use your ultimate at the very very end once you pass that first the second to last boss once you're at the last boss, as I like to call the last boss, the dragon, the green dragon, or whatever you want to call it, then use your ultimate. And once you're there, once you pass pass limbo, then there you go. Um, cool, the, one of the reasons why this is a really good event is that if you have not passed limbo in, with external character, and you do manage to pass limbo, you actually get, I think, three omegas, but more importantly, you get three power points. Yes, these power points over here. You get three extra power points. And I'm going to show you guys right now what that looks like. Give me a second here. So, all you have to do is quite simple. If you've you've never... Well, let me just show you really quick. If you've never done Limbo before, and you, or if you've done Limbo, but you don't have to sure if who you've done it for, who you completed it, it's easy. Just, type, just click a L V, Achievements, Events, Mystic Mayhem, and then heroes against Nars Nars Narsturth. I can't even pronounce it. But that one boss. And then if you click on the little plus sign, it tells you which characters you have you have or have not completed this um, this event, the limbo event. Okay, just showing you guys that. Showing you guys that. So just again, let's just say you've never done it before, and you may have managed to pass limbo. All you have to do is simple. Just go to Xavier's School. Just wait a little bit. Xavier School. Go to Magic. Click on her. She's gonna tell you something, and you automatically get. I believe. I'm pretty sure it's three omegas. Uh, either three omega, uh, three or four. I'm not too sure, but let's just aim for three, and you get three power points. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like. So, you go over here. Just click tab. And you can see where she's at. You see right there. It's telling me where she at. All you gotta do here. And then see the question mark. Just go to magic, and then she'll give you those three. I think it's three omegas, and then three power points. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like. So, let's say if you're playing the first time doing it, click here, limbo, okay. Well, three on one on one omega. Wow, and you get three power points. Sorry, yeah. And then right there, three, three power points, just like that. So. If uh, if you're watching this video and the, and this event's still occurring, the limbo, if you've never done it before, I highly highly recommend. I highly recommend that you do it because again, it gives you not only omega point but also you can also get a three power points if you've never done it before, which can be useful for you know your powers. And in this case, I'm probably gonna upgrade maybe probably my basic or yeah probably my basic or probably it's something I have but my basic or maybe add more to my um, movement power so I can increase the duration of me being stealth so yeah that's it you guys again this is my little guide and little tip as far as how to pass on uh, limbo sorry if uh, if I was playing here I got distracted again it's kind of difficult to play this event and kind of give you guys my tips and pointers but hopefully I hopefully this guide is helpful for you guys it's pretty simple um, not that hard and again all you have to do is go to LFG, look for group chat. Like right now, look, any limbo, look for group limbo. Many people are asking about it. So again, go to the LFG, you know, you know, type in um, invite limbo. Someone will invite you and then make sure you have the party chat open, which is the party tab. 
on your chat box. Make sure it's open and communicate who is going to do what and so forth. Um, again, that's would be um, that would be my biggest uh, biggest advice. Once you're in a party, make sure there's rules established as far as who's going to do what. If not, take initiative and just type in there. Okay, everyone trip you know, triple up, or everyone gather for the triplets to each for everyone gather for one boss doing triplets use ultimate at the very end and majority of the time many people will be like okay roger or something or they'll agree with you and then just keep playing when you get to the demons when you go to the demon where there summons more again do the damage to the right demon not the summon demon the way you can tell is if you're doing damage to a demon and the health is being reduced dramatically that's the wrong one do damage to the right one that way you can pass that um pass that enemy boss or you know, wave and they move on to the next one. And when you're at the triplets, again, when you're at the triplets, all you have to do is just all you guys gather up to the one, one um, boss first, and then go to the other and do to the other. And it makes it much easier and it's more effective that way. And at the end, at the very end, use your ultimates. You can either use wait till the very last last boss to do your ultimate, or you can maybe one or two of you use your ult, you know, can use your ultimates for the second to last boss, and then all the rest do the to your know, ultimate for the last boss uh, but again I would highly recommend keep chat open and just communicate that way it makes it much much easier and once you pass limbo if you pass it and even never never passed limbo before you can go to magic professor Xavier's mansion go to magic and you get your three power points which I showed you guys and an Omega so again free Omega and three power points to add in more to your powers which increase a lot more to your powers as is so yeah, so this is uh, that's how I pass usually limbo. That's usually what I do when I'm playing limbo. When I'm at a party, I just take initiative, lead, and kind of go from there. And that's it, you guys. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you guys for this event. I'm not too sure if it's too late or not, but if it's too late, sorry. But if the event's still occurring, take advantage. I mean, you know, my advice is definitely do it right away. Alrighty, so this is my little my tip and kind of a guide to passing limbo. So uh, yeah, on to the next one.